Affinity Photo version 1.6.4 for the iPad was just released and it includes a ton of new features. We're just going to highlight a few of them in this video. Check it out. If your workflow involves importing photos directly from your photo library, you'll be happy to know that in version 1.6.4, the photo library now shows all user folders and albums. That way it's easy to import any eligible photo from your photo library. The update also includes pinch gesture support for grouping and ungrouping layers. So you just swipe on the layers that you wish to select like this and perform a pinch gesture to group them like that. Super easy. And you can also ungroup layers. So just swipe the group that you wish to select and then pinch out like this. Version 1.6.4 also allows you to export a 3D LUT for your favorite video app. So you can create the look that you're looking for using an adjustment layer like this. And then you can go to the file menu and then export the LUT and adjust all your settings. You can rename it, adjust the quality. And when you export, you can export directly to iCloud Drive and then import that directly into your video editing app of choice. I'm using Final Cut Pro 10 with Color Finale. So now I've applied that LUT directly to my video and I get the same look in Final Cut Pro 10 so I can match up the look of my videos to my photos. Pretty awesome. And then one last thing I want to touch on are macros. There's a new macro studio available in Affinity Photo 1.6.4. You can see I've imported several macro categories and some of those include over 100 different steps which is pretty intense so i'm going to apply the neon fade macro just tap on it and there we go so ladies and gentlemen this has been a look at affinity photo 1.6.4 of course there are tons of other features let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section this is jeff with nine to five mac